Hey Pisces or Chinese year rabbit, mutable beautiful water. This one is for you, so just take what resonates. And thank you guys so much for all your support. Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. We're going to shuffle through these messages and get what we get. So thank you, Spirit, Universe, and God for being here and showing up. And thank you to Pisces, Spirit, Team, for also being here. we got some hidden motives in the way, so we'll have to find out what that is. But there's love in, in this situation. There's some kind of love here, too. Two different things. Expect someone to return very soon. Expect someone to return very soon. Some of you guys could be single and you're waiting on this person to return. And this could be where the love is. Or this could be somebody that has hidden motives. And they're expected to come soon, but they have something bad. I'm going to put it in the middle because that's a little interesting, right? Let's keep going and see what else we get. We also have choosing happiness. People may not like your choices, but once upon a time, they made their own. And it's your turn to do the same. Got to make yourself happy, Pisces. Got to make yourself happy. I don't know who this is. It's coming very soon, but this is a very, very questionable thing. So I'm going to put this all the way over here. All right, let's keep going. What else for the Pisces? Kill them with kindness. Kindness is the best weapon, Pisces. Kill them with kindness. All right. Landlord. Something about your landlord could be specific, too. Let's see what else we have. You could be expecting your landlord to return very soon as well for some of you. We have some things you do I don't necessarily like. I love you unconditionally, and you don't like everything I do either. So thanks for compromising with me. For the masculine energy. So obviously I'm coming in, that's where the love situation is. Masculine's maybe like, hey, everything you do, I don't always like, but that doesn't mean I don't love you. I love you. I just don't always like what you do. Okay. And then we also have experiences or everything. Without experiences, we'd have nothing. Okay. So there's something about you knowing that choosing happiness is important. Make yourself happy because in those experiences that you are trying to thrive in happiness, they're everything. Because without those experiences, you wouldn't even know what it felt like to be even that, that close to happiness, this far away from happiness, whatever it may be. Okay. We also have our souls are already connected and very familiar with one another. It's our bodies that are new. The vibes have always been there. Past life lives and beginning of time. I'm definitely feeling like this could be one of the things about expecting someone to return very soon from the past, past life. Let's see, I'm going to get a past life oracle to go with the situation because I feel like it's necessary for this past life situation. For this, our souls are already connected and very familiar with one another. It's our bodies that are new. Lessons and blessings landed over on choosing happiness. That has something to do with this past life situation in the beginning of time. Our souls are already connected. I'm very familiar with one another. There's lessons and blessings in part of that. Outdoors adventures are someone. Outdoor adventures are someone's favorite thing to do. Camping, hiking, being in the sun, the weather, adventure is out there. Now, I just got back from camping too. And I'm glad to see a lot of you guys are in that camping exploration doing stuff. Because I love that. You know, you gotta gotta grow. Okay, that's what that sticker says. So there is something here about getting out, experiencing life, being in nature, being outdoors, having the sun shine on your face. I got too much sun. I don't even care, though. I needed it. I was waiting for it. It's your boss. There's something about your boss that maybe their boss could be the one that has hidden motives. Maybe your landlord is. I don't know. We'll find out, though. You will have to use your discernment for all that. You brighten up my days. You brighten up my days like the sun on my face. Kiss me through the phone by Soldier Boy. Tell him I'll see you when I get home. So, kiss me through the phone. It's really old, though. Anyway, let's go. Ooh, baby, it's hot outside. June to August. Look at that. June is happening in what? What? Two more days. So, all of June to August, you're going to be in that outdoors energy, experiencing things. Okay? You're going to have a great time. So, that's something you needed to know. I'm glad to see it. Let's see what else we have. We got patience is a virtue. Showing high moral standards and good behavior. High principles and ethics. ethics. Patience is a virtue. One more. One more time. Okay, nothing came through. All right, let's see where we go. I got I Run to You by Lady Antebellum uh, on the bottom. I, or well, on the top, but I'm on this. I run from hate. I run from prejudice. I run from pessimists. But I run too late. I run my life or is it running me? I run from my past. I run too fast or too slow, it seems. It's a really good song. It's just too, and I was like 15, 16. 
I used to, I still listen to it on occasion, but I used to listen to it a lot more then. Okay. I'm going to get a Mystic Red Rose Oracle to get a little bit of energy for you. Pisces, so choosing happiness, experiences are everything, the outdoor adventures, the patience is a virtue. And ooh, baby, it's hot outside. I'm getting the Transformers movie, the very first Transformers movie with Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox in it, for whatever reason, the one scene of her, well, where Bumblebee dies and takes him to that really pretty tree right there on the cliff right there, you know, and it's like, ha, I gave them a moment. Um, anyway, that moment is popping up in my mind. Well, let's see what we get here. Yeah, karmic relationship. Ow. Resentments and triggers, perception, intensity, and letting go. Turmoil and fleeting, karmic relationship. Love is be broken. Cookies? I don't know, something about cookies. Making cookies, baking cookies. Maybe you're a baker. Somebody you know could be a baker. Okay, but karmic relationship. This is something that you guys have been really trying to get through. You've been trying to have a different perception on life and trying to let go of the turmoil. And you're trying to no longer let the intensities of these triggers, you know, hold you back. You're trying to choose happiness. Karmic relationships aren't always about relationship, relationship with people that you sleep with, okay? Like, like the people that you actually sleep next to in the sense of you're in a relationship with. These could be karmic family members, friends, coworkers, whatever it may be. Okay, what's this hidden motives? Interesting. Somebody's hiding their love for you, Pisces. Got Cupid's arrow here. So it is somebody that's returning to you. They have hidden motives in the sense they got love for you. They won't admit it, though. They say that you brighten up their days, that there's love in the situation, but they haven't admitted it yet. They ha they're trying to have faith that love is coming and surprise invitation could happen. Struck by love. Hidden motives that you're struck by love. The motive is love. They just haven't been able to ex announce it. Okay, they haven't been able to say anything about it in fear of maybe... It's like here, partings on the bottom, time with friends, having fun, happily single, living in the moment. Maybe they don't want to take away that part of your life. They've been seeing you live in the moment. You've been happily single. They feel something with you, though. You also have cut down, cutting out, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. Not today, Junior, on the bottom. There is somebody you're trying to tell no to. Interesting. Maybe you don't want to go on a date with this person. I see, I see, I see. This is interesting because I'm feeling like y'all have a deceptive energy um, messing with you. Now, this deceptive energy is actually trying to play as it's something else when it really isn't at this point. Because what I'm seeing is definitely now not what I was feeling before. So, it is deceiving. I definitely see because look, 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 look. I'll show you what I mean. Because with the cut down, it makes, it makes sense. It was supposed to come out, right? So, I should leave it there. But it said cutting out, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. Not today. Boundaries and hurt. Avoiding conversation. Not dealing. Still upset. With a date. Self-indulgence came out underneath that self-worth and value because somebody was trying to love bomb you. That was one-sided and absorbed within themselves and selfish and a narcissist. So they were trying to love bomb you and that wasn't really how it was supposed to be. Backstabbing right there. So yeah, they would. They are actually only kind of want a piece of what you have. They know that you're able to give people blessings and that's what the hidden motive is. So it really isn't love. That's what this issue is. It's not even love. This is why this person's trying to come back because they see what you have. They see how you help people um, by being in people's lives. They realize how their life has fallen down the, the sinkhole. Okay. That's what's going on. You're trying to give them the silent treatment. That's what's going on. There's somebody else here. This is this person. Some things you do I don't necessarily like, but I love you unconditionally. I kind of got a weird vibe from that message. So that is crazy. Okay. I do feel like your suspicions have been correct. 
we do know to give this person the silent treatment. That's what the hidden motive was altogether. It was a very deceptive energy. So I'm sorry y'all were dealing with that. There's love in the situation, but there's love in a different situation. It isn't even this situation. It's a totally different situation. Somebody who actually believes in you doesn't want anything from you. Pisces, you got two different energies here that one's obsessed in a bad way and one's not obsessed, but they're definitely in love with you and they want to see you grow. They want to see you change and, and adapt and move forward. Okay? Interesting, huh? I'm not ready for these yet, but I want to get an Osho Zen for each two. Let's see. This could be one of the karmic steps trying to get in your way. Beyond the illusion is what you're doing. Yeah. You're beyond the illusion. That's why you're trying to let things go. You got friendliness here. Maybe you've just been friendly, but you're not too friendly. You know? You gotta keep it at a, like a moral type of standard, I guess. Then you also have slowing down. Because you've been friendly with them, it could have slowed down your life a little bit. That's kind of what I just said, wasn't it? Transformation taking place, you know? Okay, so you also have number 20, number 13, number 2. It could be like the 20th, 13th, the second day of the month. Second house, Taurus is energy. Um, Venus. The 13th day could be of like June. Um, 20th could be June 20th as well. So maybe something about June 13th and June 20th or between those dates could be specific to that you're going to notice something okay let's see what we understand from this though with the tarot knock 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 for the pisces energy let's see ace of wands in the reverse somebody is definitely trying to block you out oh my goodness so much going on pisces i swear this is one of the things you really needed to know in, in this energy tried to deceive me too so i'm not even happy with it like wow but i caught you oh man the magician's in the reverse i haven't even flipped all these cards i'm kind of getting worried the five of swords is in the reverse the four of pentacles is in the reverse yay the fool is in the reverse oh King of Wands is up here. No, oh, good, 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 good. That's that energy of this overall energy of our souls are connected and very familiar. It's our bodies that are new. So this is a new person for sure. This is somebody you will feel connected though with because you do have a past life situation with them. Certain lessons and blessings. I'm actually wanting to get one more past oracle before we start explaining all this. We got communal living, Egypt, and scribe or writer coming through. This could be, you could have known this person in Egypt. You could have lived in a communal living, which is basically like an apartment. But like way back in the day, everybody lived together in the sense of the house being built by room by room by room. And it's all of them living there. Scribe or writer. Okay, so you guys could have write, written things, scripts. King of Wands is very amazing. And I just got like pulled all the way over into this energy, just drawn this way. This King of Wands is very, very attracted to the feminine, this masculine energy, okay? If you're the masculine, then this is something that you're feeling very confident in. You got Leo and Cancer's energy over here. Throughout the whole June and August, you know, Cancer's and Leo's energy will happen during those times. There's something about being different, daring to be different, wishing to bring a sense of difference to the world, you know, setting a totally different example. With this energy, though, with the Ace of Wands in the reverse, like I was saying, there's a karmic energy that was definitely trying to block out some things and the experiences that you've had. If you didn't have experiences, you would have nothing. If somebody was trying to eliminate you being able to experience things, um, with the Magician in the reverse, on my eye, my right eye is twitching like crazy. So this has caused a lot of stress, caused a lot of anxiety, this has caused a lot of feelings of restrictions um, and delayed like fun things in life really okay this is the time to release the stress because with the five of swords and the four of pentacles both next to each other in the reverse okay i'm gonna tell you something that's really kind of a clue that we're in uh right now aquarius moon sign and we'll be in pisces moon sign by tomorrow sometime I'm not sure when it will change but it will we just had that Capricorn energy moon too, right? Because it goes Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. So therefore, if I see the Capricorn and the Aquarius energy out here, and then I also see Gemini's energy, which we're in Gemini season currently, we just had the full moon of Sagittarius not too long ago. So that would be like the whole entire Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, like last few days, right? 
This is you realizing some of these things. And this is why you're beyond the illusion because you've been noticing that there's been a negative entity or negative entities or energies that keep being sent your way that are trying to interfere and, and interact in a way that is going to be inferior um, and disruptive to all your goals and all the, the things that you're trying to achieve success with and have experiences with for growth for growth purposes okay this is you letting it go for reals you're ending this conflict you're making a major sacrifice you're just done okay you don't have to you don't have to deal with these challenges so you're surrendering to them and that's going to help think make things a lot easier this person that was you were dealing with was very relentless this person is very um like violent and made you want to fight back it made you you know, yell a lot, maybe made your health really deplete. You felt very um, stressed out with the situation. There was a lot of hostility in that. The fool in the reversal means like there was just a lot of gullibility and that kind of makes me feel like you were gullible at one point to this situation. That's maybe why I felt deceived myself because you guys even allowed yourselves in there. So. But um, now you guys are seeing and being on the illusion of what this was. You're no longer letting this um, karmic interfere with you anymore um yeah they 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 made a lot of reckless choices too and they're gonna have to face what they did that's for sure that's why i didn't really want to read that yet that's why i got really drawn to this energy because i was like hey 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 i don't know why but it's fat albert i don't know why but it's just like that really good energy and if you guys have ever watched the fat albert movie and it's really really good <laughs> Uh, it's such a good story. Just the whole plot behind it, the whole actual meaning of the story was just really cute and adorable. But Fat Albert is super kind and he's just super funny and he's always wanting to make everybody laugh and he's always wanting to make everybody feel good and everybody is feeling some kind of down. He's like literally there for them. He listens with an open ear. Like this is just somebody that I feel will melt your heart. If you're the feminine energy, if you're the masculine, this is you really wanting to melt this feminine's heart that you're appealed by. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going. Where are we going? Where are we going? What's going? The Knight of Swords. There's season opportunity. Someone's coming over with quick communication. I'm going to tell you right now. All right. You got the Six of Pentacles. Equal energy. Somebody wants to give you equality. Somebody wants to be very generous with you, support you, share with you. And, and you know what? Even share wealth. Even share wealth. And because they've seen you slow down with something that you're trying to cut down. Because you're trying to cut it out. Because you're trying to separate yourself from this and stop the pattern altogether. Silent treatment so that you don't have to give to this. But this whole energy of this person coming through, they're having an offering for you. And it's an offering of prosperity, love, and abundance. They want to be able to help you find control of your life. They want you to see that they love you. Literally. Okay. Um, Nine of Pentacles. They love your beauty. If you're the feminine or the masculine energy is loving the feminine beauty. So I'm just going to say it like that. Okay. They love how much they are growing, how much they're learning, how much they're expanding, how beautiful they are, especially if they're a mother or how they would love to have them be um, the mother of their children. Okay. You have the Ace of Pentacles right underneath that. So there's definitely a new beginning. Someone wants to bring in. Okay. Behind that is the strength in the reverse with the Page of Swords. So there is still evil energy, negative energy, evil eye. Trying to penetrate, especially when they find you in weaker moments where you're not able to really fully activate strength. But the Five of Cups in the Reversal does say to me that you'll be able to release an emotional baggage. When you do this, the Eight of Wands is blocking this negative entity from coming through. That will try to interfere with your relationship. It is somebody from the past, obviously, that you did once upon a time share a connection. But there's a lot of disharmony there. You stop juggling this energy. Maybe it was a family. Maybe it was a broken family. You know that they were not being honest with you. Three of Cups in the Reversal, they were overindulging. They were lying. They were gossiping. They were, they were doing things they shouldn't have been doing in a relationship. Okay. Seven of Pentacles is in a reversal. So you had to change your plan away from something. You had to take a fall from grace. But that fall from grace actually led you to more opportunities and possibilities with a transformation. And that's where that transformation is hitting you. You had realized that there was a lot of injustices here. And the shadow self is as well as the devil energy. So therefore, you know what? Because of all this negative energy and you also had to take a loss. But with that loss, you have recovered slowly. There's still been a lot of imbalances and a lot of maybe your own moods being cognitively dissonant. But you've still worked very hard. Determined, ambition, connecting with nature. Still being open-minded and optimistic. Still learning and knowledgeable energies. Still wanting to heal a lot of the things from the childhood. You've been really pushed to do all these things because of this past person, this karmic energy had made you do a lot of that but this masculine energy here whether this have been you you know this is somebody who's totally different than the rest of the world 
somebody who sees deeper and looks deeper. So this is you as the feminine. They recognize all the things you had to go through because of this karmic energy. They notice it. If it was the other way around and say you are the masculine energy, you have come up because of all this. And this is why you're really ready to start something new and transform into this energy of giving to somebody you definitely have your eye on and that you're appealed by. And you think is really somebody who could definitely be the ride or die that you're looking forward to having. The person you definitely feel like brightens up your days, that kind of thing. If you are the masculine energy that I'm talking about, okay? Um, I got the Six of Pentacles also coming through. I got cut off on my phone because it told me I, I ran out of storage, which is really annoying. But um, this is about equality, and this is something that this person wants to share. They want to share wealth. They want to share love. They want to support. They want to be able to shower you with gifts and love if you're the feminine. And if you're the masculine, this is really what you've been wanting to do. You could be wanting to have children. You could be really seeing that this feminine could be the, the mother of your children, or if they are a mother already, this is definitely something that you recognize in them, that you really appreciate them being a wonderful mother in the way that they are. Um, if you are the feminine and you are a mother, this is something that this energy of this masculine is looking in on you because they're definitely noticing things like that. And this is the key, the keen, the keen details that this person notices. They could be a PI. They could be like an investigator. They could be, you know, a detective because they would be really good at doing it. They're, they're really good at finding the true details and the truth behind things. And this is just something I feel like could be like your perfect match if you're the feminine and this is the perfect match for you if you're the masculine. I want to see where the masculine's energy or the feminine's energy is at. Feeling a lot of injustice from situations that were... You know what? She feels injustice because of not heeding certain warnings from the past. That's something I'm getting. And it could have escalated the violence. You could be embarrassed by some of these things. The Three of Pentacles, there was a lot of disrespect. There was a lot of lack of cohesion and lack of teamwork. There was um, Capricorn and Libra energy right there, by the way. We also have Taurus over here. There's definitely like a lack of growth in the situation. And it's because the feminine energy had realized that, you know, they were not heeding certain warnings. And they should have, you know, not really given into the, the conflict and... and the traumas, really like the drama, they should have just let it go. There's been slow healing on the feminist part. The Eight of Cups was in the reversal. It was something that was very hard for them to let go. They were very codependent, but the Four of Pentacles means that they had released it. And they're now really seeing all the things. But the Four of Swords in the reversal it does tell me that this has been a slow, slow recovery. But they have found mental strength to get through this. They have even found some kind of support. But there's a whole awakening and they're ready to rejoin the world. That's where the feminine's energy. So where's the masculine's energy at? The Queen of Cups. They see the, they see the feminine as so empathetic, sweet, caring, loving, motherly. Okay, and... They've seen that this feminine energy has gone through scarcity. This masculine's also gone through scarcity. They've also gone through having like the red carpet ripped out from under their feet. They've had things complete and end. They're ready for a new beginning. The world. Something about Taurus could definitely be specific with this masculine energy. You also got Gemini and Cancer, Capricorn, Virgo, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. What else with this, this masculine's energy? Ace of Cups, see a brand new beginning they want to bring in. I'm telling you, it's all about that equality. They've had a spiritual enlightenment and awakening as well. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The Four of Cups, they're just bored. They want something new in their life, and they kind of feel they've been wishful thinking about something here. The Hermit in the Reversal, they've done a lot of shadow work. Yep, they're coming in, but they're coming in slow. The Knight of Pentacles is also here. So they're coming in slow, but they're very determined, loyal, and devoted individuals. They're very connected with nature. Virgo's energy is heavy. Cancer's energy is very heavy. Uh, they could be a Virgo sheep or a Cancer rooster, of course, right? Um, they could even be Virgo, Cancer, Leo, uh, Cancer, <laughs> Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Aquarius, Leo, or Taurus moon signs, but this is somebody that definitely has their eyes set on this feminine. They're very responsible, very patient. They do push through and make their dreams and wishes come through, come true through persistence. So, you know, they're doing everything to be focused and driven. And they do have a future of growth and money, too. So it's all really looking good in this masculine energy's lifestyle. And this is what the feminine 
has been going through and, and experiencing as well. So I hope that this helped you in any way it could potentially help you. I'll get one message from the universe to you. And the mermaids and dolphins oracle. Let's see. What's the message to the Pisces from the universe today? We have simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. Getting out by water, flowing water, listening to the river, the stream, the lake, waves, the ocean waves, right? Stuff like that. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. I'll see you guys again soon. Have a